now, please welcome Adam Elliott, director of Ernie Biscuit. Good morning. Hello, Adam. Long time since the last time you were in Annecy. It was in 2009, I think. Yes, uh, this is my fifth visit to Annecy, and it seems to be every five years. Uh, I was giving a talk to some children a couple of months ago, and one of the questions the little boy asked me was, Adam, how long do your films take to make? And I said, oh, five years. I said, any other questions? And another little boy put up his hand and he said, Mr. Elliot, if it takes you five years to make a film, you've only got four left. <laughs> Last time you were here, it was for a feature-length film, Mary and Max. Now, back to your first love, let's, let's, let's say, to short films. So, did you try to make another feature length after Mary and Max, or you decided to, to go back to, to short film? Um, after Mary and Max, I was very exhausted. Uh, my producer and I got divorced, uh, and I, it was a bittersweet experience making Mary and Max, so I wanted to... I feel like I'd lost my passion and I'd lost my love for animation, even though Mary and Max was doing very well at festivals and critically. And I, I, went, I wanted to go back to my roots. So I wanted to go back to uh, the early days of my animation career and try and find what it was that I loved about animation, you know, try and get my fire back. Uh, so I wrote Ernie Biscuit as a feature and uh, I decided to produce it myself, which is often a big mistake. But uh, so I just sat down and over two or three years I kept writing the script. I write many, many drafts of my screenplays. Uh, and then the budget started to get too big. And my, uh, my new producer, or co-producer, uh, we thought, look, this is getting too difficult. It's taking too long time to uh, shift gear and so I thought I think Ernie might be good as a short film because when I was at film school many years ago I had the idea of making a trilogy of trilogies so I made Uncle, Cousin and Brother which is all screened here at Annecy so that was the part part one of the trilogy of trilogies and then Harvey Crumpet was going to be part one of a trilogy about misunderstood lonely old men but then because it won the Oscar, I had to make a feature. <laughs> so, uh, so I had to abandon part two. So Ernie Biscuit is part two of the trilogy. And there's a third part coming one day. And uh, so, yeah. And also, I wanted to do everything myself. So on Ernie Biscuit, I wrote, directed, produced, edited, designed, catering, everything. <laughs> And uh, it was great. I got my passion back. I, I got to use my hands. I didn't have to direct, you know. It was just me in the dark by myself with my clay. And I, I gave myself just very minimal ingredients. It was just clay, cardboard, paint and wire. No detailed armatures. Just very minimal. And uh, I, I became a purist. <laughs> As always with your films, I can't tell exactly why, but watching Ernie Biscuit, I had the strange and almost uncomfortable feeling that Ernie was a real person and, and that you, you knew him. Uh, who's Ernie? Ernie is me, uh, a misunderstood, lonely, bald man uh, from Australia. Uh, but uh, I think all my characters are extensions of myself, Harvey Crumpet, uh, Mary and Max. I mean, they are all based on real people, but they're amalgamations. Uh, Mary and Max, Max is my, my pen pal in New York. So uh, I call my films clayographies, which is a very pretentious word, which I invented, mm -hmm. which is a cross between clay and biographies. But that's all I do. I don't do any commercial work. I just do one film at a time. My mother always said it's quality, not quantity. Good things take time. And, you know, um, you, have to, you have to love what you do. And I finally have got the love back. 
<laughs> uh, on the final credits of the film, I, I noticed the, the name of Jean-Pierre Genet, you thank Jean-Pierre Genet. Uh, tell us, uh, where does it come from? <laughs> Uh, Jean-Pierre um, became a good friend after Mary and Max and I, uh, uh, he was here at Annecy 2009 and he sent me an email and it was a very nice email saying my name is Jean-Pierre, I am also a filmmaker and uh, I saw your film and, and, and I thought wow he's got the same name as that very famous Jean-Pierre <laughs> Genet. <laughs> <laughs> So I wrote back to him and I said, yeah, thank you, you know, if you're ever in Australia, come and... And he, he came to Australia and uh, <laughs> we met and we became very good friends and he, he read the first draft of Ernie Biscuit and he gave me feedback and he didn't charge any money and uh, he... Um, but, you know, the thing I realised with Jean-Pierre is, of course, his films... Are similar, I mean, the particularly delicatessen. I've always delicatessen is very popular. Was very popular in Australia, still is. And uh, there's a sensibility about his films that I really relate to. And I think a lot of animators relate to Jean Pierre's films. And uh, so, yeah, he hasn't seen the film yet. He might give it the thumbs down. I don't know. But uh, I had to give him a, a special thank you. Yeah. And. The, the, beginning, the beginning of the film stands in France. Uh, was that uh, something that you, uh, you've decided very early in the process? Well, um, a lot of people ask why France, and, and because Harvey Crumpet, he came from Poland, I wanted it, they're all fish out of water, they're migrant stories. The third film that's coming one day is also going to be a migrant story. And we have a lot of migrants to Australia and um, they try and assimilate and it's always um, very difficult to assimilate into Australia. So I wanted to, I wanted to pick a, a country where there was high levels of sophistication and culture. Because I wanted the two countries to be very extreme and Australia, in 1966, didn't have any culture. It did, but we didn't, <laughs> we didn't know what the word culture meant. Uh, so Australia was a very racist, um, backward, underdeveloped nation. And it's changed a lot since then, thankfully. But, so I wanted Ernie to be immersed in this world that was very brash and uncouth and um, lacking any sophistication. So he really was uh, over his head, you know, he was in a, a fish out of water. Yeah. Some questions from the people here, yes, Nancy. Thank you. Uh, once you finish this set of trilogies, what are your plans for your third trilogy? Are well, you, uh, <laughs> any chance you're going to go back to your family? Well, Mary and Max is part one of a trilogy of feature films. Um, I have two other feature films in my head. And, and also Ernie Biscuit was an, it was an experiment using new types of clay, trying to get the budgets lower and lower. In Australia, we have a very conservative government at the moment that's slashing funding to the film industry. So we have to become more entrepreneurial and more um, realistic with our budgets. So the other two f trilogies are based, uh, the other two features uh, are based uh, on a lot of, one on my childhood and the other one on a, f a very eccentric family, also my childhood. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, just more of me to come. I'm a very, you know, indulgent, selfish uh, filmmaker. Yeah. Another question? Bernard. Dans Marie et Max, Max était obsédé aussi par la Shoah, par la persécution des Juifs. Vous faites une allusion aussi en France à l'occupation avec l'antisémitisme. C'est quelque chose qui vous, qui vous obsède aussi. In, in Marie and Max, Max was obsessed by uh, the Jewish uh, persecution during the uh, Second World War. Uh, in uh, Ernie Biscuit, th there is uh, still uh, an evocation of, of uh, uh, the Second World War. So, is this something important for you? 
Yes, uh, I, I have a lot of friends who are Jewish. I'm not Jewish. A lot of people think I am Jewish. I don't know why they think I am Jewish. Uh, but um, I, I, I don't know why. I just love... Uh, my pen pal is Jewish. So I, I'm... I've got a lot of friends who are Jew Jewish atheists as well, which I'm fascinated by. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know why, but I think also the Jewish sense of humour. I love, um, I love f TV series like Curb Your Enthusiasm and I love Woody Allen. I mean, you know, I love Jewish humour. Uh, I love comedy tragedy, so I love... You know, actually I was saying to someone last night, they said, what is your, is your film a comedy? And I said, well, if no one laughs, it'll be a tragedy. So, you know, I think um, it's just that balance of, of comedy and tragedy, humour, pathos, bittersweet, because that's what all our lives are, are like. I don't want to make gag films that are just gag, 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 gag. I have, to, I have to try and reflect true life. And I think that sort of answers your earlier question about these blobs of plasticine seem so real to the audience and it's because I'm trying to get the audience to empathise with my characters. I want you to be in my character's shoes and feel like, you know, know what it feels like to have Asperger's syndrome or what it feels like to be deaf or marginalised or the underdog. So all my films are about characters who are perceived as different and my job is to sort of uh, get you to understand that we are all imperfect. My characters are imperfect, we're all imperfect and it's about embracing each other's imperfections and not seeing them as strange or weird or foreign. So that's a very long answer hmm. to it was someone's question. Last question. Yep. Here. Hello. Besides the obvious technical and organizational differences between uh, short and long, uh, the type of work required, is there a particular mindset change that you must do or you feel the need to do when making a short or a feature? I think that I say this to students, the best way to make a short film is to make, uh, write it as a feature first and then keep pairing it back, distilling it, finding the essence. And I think with a short film, it's knowing what to leave out, not what to put in. And that's harder, I think, than writing a feature. I find writing, you know, I've written, I've only written one feature, Mary Max, but I found that a lot easier than writing Harvey Crumpet or Ernie Biscuit. It's, you, it's so hard to know how to be succinct. And that's, that's I think, the art for me anyway, yeah. Adam Elliott. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marcel. Thank you very much. <laughs>